Ladies and gentlemen, the very first box, booster box, of the Demon Rush trading card game, which has 24 packs in it. Has Kolsu, the gatekeeper, uh, on the cover. He is one of the rarest cards in the entire set. Um, as you can see here, Adriel is the other rarest on the holy side, and Kolsu on the evil side. So you wanna collect those two, but in the very first print, this is the alpha print, and there is only 30 of each of these printed in alpha. So if you're lucky enough to pull one, congratulations. Today, we're gonna open the very first box. I am shaking with excitement. This is my life's dream come true. The, uh, the amount of work that went into this was just crazy, but I know you guys wanna see me open some packs too, so let's, let's get into it, uh, if I can find my knife. Oh boy, okay, so I don't really know what I'm doing. Oh wow, look at that. Okay, so then the booster box goes like this. Yep, wow, look at that. Man, I'm gonna set these over here. So that's the display box. Here is the first pack, and as you can see, the pack says Alpha on it, which means the very first print ever. This is before first edition. This is the first ever print, and that's why these cards are gonna be so valuable in the future. Uh, there was only 10,000 packs printed and 1,500 starter decks, uh, which cost me a fortune. <laughs> but once they sell out, we'll do probably the beta print which will still be very expensive or still be very valuable in the future. Uh, and then we'll get into first edition. But first we got to sell out of these. Uh, make sure you guys get your hands on them now while you can, because I think they're going to go instantly. All right, very first pack opening. Let's see how this goes. Uh, nice smooth opening process. Man, I almost don't even want to get rid of the pack. It looks so good. Uh, with Adriel on the cover, nonetheless, he is a beast. Okay, so we got Flaming Sword, Ring of Atonement, Love Potion, Rope of Binding Hearts, Lightning Blast. I think there's a hollow back here, boys. Incantation of the Powerful, Destructive Basilisk. And Drangrothan. Oh no, there's one more card. Seance. Okay, I did get a hollow. So Seance is really good be uh, for evil decks, especially for now. Uh, it helps you spam the field more and search out your soldiers that help you draw and use effects and everything. All right, so that's one hollow. Put the commons over here. Let's get to the next pack. Hopefully, we'll pull an angel or a demon lord. All right. Majestic Chimera, Seven Trumpets, Waitstone, Drangrothan, Ghost Gun, Love Potion, Bone Mac, the Vile Jackal, Incantation of the Powerful, and the rare is Augustus, the Holy General. Not the best pool. That's all right. We're just getting warmed up. Pack number three. Okay. Majestic Chimera again. Golden Coin. Orgith, the Dark Forge Master. Flaming Sword, Dolgon the Spider Queen, Exodus. Seen a lot of these in the structure decks. Really just hunting for that epic. Ooh, Church of Dominus. This card is really good. Not a hollow, it's but this this card is insanely good. Like for the holy decks, 
reduces the cost of all of your holy cards by one and you get one strength and one imperium so it's just like a huge buff if you want to get this out early it's super strong but i definitely need that so i don't even have like i don't have all the cards so i gotta i'm gonna have to open boxes to get them myself this is so exciting guys oh my god wheel of time it's a good card ghost gun Camara, Warhorse, Flaming Sword. Man, these look really good. Skeleton Warrior, Love Potion, <coughs> Drang Rothen, and another Jacob. Nice. I love this art. This is done by Sandra Konat. I love this art. It looks so good. So clean. Pearl Hawk's good card. Henus Wolf. She also did this one. And she did this one. Oh, man, these are like a bunch of evil cards we haven't seen yet. Uh, uh, Emily the Forsaken. War Horse. Uh, Wheel of Time. Adama the Gazer. Omaja. The Kitty. And a Ryusi. Nice. So still getting a lot of structure deck cards. I'm waiting for the uh, the really rare cards. I really like an Apple of Eden or two. Some legendary rares would be nice, but they're very hard to pull. Alright. Orgith the Dark Forge Master. Primal Bear. Holy Water. Weight Stone. Seven Trumpets, Ray of Heaven, Love Potion, Rope of Binding Hearts, and a Great Bird of Destiny. Very nice. This is a, this is a very, very good card. Uh, gives you draw power, basically replenishes itself, and you can make big plays with this and um, <clears throat> Dorn the Reviver as a really strong play, because uh, you basically just Spend five. Well, hopefully, we'll pull a Dorn and I can show you, but that looks really good. This one was done by Kyle. He's going to love this. All right, let's pull an Angel. Warhorse. Ray of Heaven. Cosmic Energy, Drang Rothen, Rage of the True King, Love Potion, Forgotten Coin, Helneth, and Divine Intervention. Not hollow, just a rare. But it's a pretty good card. It's a good sideboard card. So you're supposed to get a, pa a hollow in like every three packs, basically. That's how I calculated it. Um, Ray of Heaven, Flaming Sword, Love Potion, Rope. Well, I got all these ropes. I can build an OTK deck. Uh, the only thing about the OTK deck is it's so easy to shut down. Like it's fun. It's like a it's like a strong cheap deck if you play this with three Pearl Hawks and three Ghost Wolf. But if they play like one Contradict. You could just lose. So it's not like that great, but it's a fun deck mostly. Uh, Leviathan's Hide. Skeleton Warrior. Oh, I think that's an angel back there. Uh, Zogtheron. Tell me it's Adriel. Oh my god, is it Adriel? Oh, I, I did get an angel. Wow. Pahalia. Nice, man. Ooh, that looks so clean. Look at that. Oh my god. God, dude. Oh my god, it looks so good. I can't wait to play with my friends, dude. Oh man. All right, we pulled an angel. So that's a good box. We pull an angel, it's a good box. Or a, or a demon lord. Or technically, they're not demon lords, they're evil greater beings, captains and generals and such. Okay, Renee the Spirit Maiden. Golden coin. Weightstone. 
Hell Spawn. Definitely need three of those. Devout Monk, good sideboard card against evil. Real time, Pearl Hawk, and oh, Law of Forbearance, and a Pristine Coffin. Is this hollow? No, it's not hollow. It's just rare. But really good card. Need it anyway. Man, I love this pack opening process. It's so much fun. Okay. Amaja. Chimera. Helmuth. Cosmic Energy. Leviathan Tide. Skeleton Warrior. Drangrathen. Pearl Hawk. And another Divine Intervention. Keep the best cards out here. Okay, boys. Hopefully we pull, I mean, you want to pull Adriel or Kulsu. That would be the biggest thing. Uh, Oglalan, Helneth, Amaja, Cosmic, Spirit Wolf, Skeleton Warrior, Forgotten Coin, Blessed Cat, and another Great Bird. Oh, sweet. I actually really like using these. Uh, I think that's probably one of the best holy monsters. I actually had to nerf it a few times because it was just too strong. So um, that's great. I, I love having two of these. I, my Soren deck's going to be strong as hell now. <clears throat> okay. Bad Bat. Should probably have like a pile for evil and a pile for holy. These are like all the commons I've gotten so far. I got a big stack there. Heinous Wolf, Amulet, Forsaken, Warhorse, Lightning Blast, Ravana, Bone Mac, Drang Rothen, and another Ryuse. That I really didn't want um, as a hollow. <laughs> There's lots of better options. I mean, I'll probably have to run it for now since my deck will be weak unless I open like a whole case of these by myself, but I prefer Great Bird of Destiny to Ryusi because he just draws right away. Amaja. Oh, these are upside down. What the heck is going on here? Seven Trumpets, Helneth, Flaming Sword, Lightning Blast. Ring of Atonement, Destructive Basilisk, Spirit Wolf, and Cemetery Hunter. Okay, I didn't have this rare yet. Uh, I do actually like to run at least one of these guys in my evil deck, so I need that. Still got only about halfway through, boys. Still got a lot of packs to go. <clears throat> okay, Amulet. Lightning Blast, Bad Bat, Tortoise, Skeleton Warrior, Love Potion, make sure I don't reveal the rare first, Orgith, Helnith, and Contradict is a rare, but I do need three of these, uh, or two, at least two, well, if I'm running both decks, I probably need some like six, um, <laughs> for three, three in each deck, and you probably should be running at least two Contradict in just about any deck. Uh, that you run. That's why I made it a rare, so it's more easily accessible to people. It's just really powerful for shutting down your opponent's big turns, and it slows down the game and keeps you alive, and it's a very, very good card. That and Body Obstruction are in incredibly good. Okay, Oglalan. Primal Bear. Oh, I think it's like a first Primal Bear I've gotten. Is it short print or something? Uh, Orgith. Heinous Wolf. Devout Monk. Uh, this card's upside down. Rage of the True King. Blessed Cat. Pearl Hawk. And... A Body Obstruction. I was just talking about that. <laughs> I definitely need these, so I'm not upset at that. It's a very, very insanely good card. It's a trap, basically. It's like a hand trap, and you really need them in your deck. Renee, Golden Coin, Bad Bat, 
Flaming Sword, Holy Water, Exodus, Bless Cat, Rope, and... Oh, a Prayer Beads. Okay, I need three of these too. Um, it's very good draw power, so glad, happy I opened that. It's a very, very good card for Holy Decks. Pretty much a staple. Pulling a lot of staple rares here. Orgith. Okay, another Primal Bear. I actually like maining this guy too. He's just a very good, solid beat stick, and he's really strong against evil decks. Uh, Bad Bat, Ghost Gun, Golden Coin, Amulet, Ring, Rope, and... Oh my god, I pulled another Angel, dude! Oh! I pulled Cushiel! Dude, that's crazy. This was a nice box. I pulled two angels. And with the Soren deck, I'll have three angels. Oh my god, man. Uh, so, uh, twice per turn, when your opponent rallies a soldier, I never I never explained to you what Polya does. Um, you can draw one card and replenish one Imperium. So she's the angel of punishment. She punishes your opponent for rallying soldiers while she's on the field. And you'll get to draw two cards and replenish two if they summon two, which will leave it open for you to use cards like to protect her, like Body Obstruction and Contradict, which only cost two. So she can really punish your opponent. And then Pahalia, uh, once per turn during your turn, you can replenish four Imperium. So you can play her and then replenish four Imperium and then use, like if you have these two cards in your hand that both cost two, they're like counters to your opponent. So really good combos here. I can't believe, oh, that's crazy. I can't believe I pulled another angel. Still looking for the evil, the, the evil uh, foil cards. Pulling a lot of holy stuff here, which is okay, but really looking for some evil stuff. All right, Ring of Atonement, Rope of Binding Hearts, Spirit Wolf, Destructive Basilisk, Orgith, Holy Water. Oh, Adama, I haven't seen Adama yet. Looks good. It's one of my favorite card arts. It's just so evil. Zog, Theron, and oh man, I pulled Argon. There we go. I was just talking about I was just talking about how I needed some evil hollows. Um yeah, this guy is one of the best evil monsters in the game. Uh you can just rally soldiers from your deck uh one per turn. But uh he's expensive, like in terms of how much Imperium it costs to do it, but it's totally worth it because there's another evil monster, uh, evil soldier called Urzin the Treasure Meister, which works really well with this card, um, which allows you to draw a lot of cards, <clears throat> replenish Imperium, and so this guy can search Urzin, and uh, it's just a mega combo, but yeah, that, I really needed that. Okay. Orgith. Amulet, Bad Bat, Holy Water. I've seen all these cards. I can just start going quick, I guess. Law of Forbearance, Cosmic. I think it's first Cosmic. Like that. Oh my god, it's an evil game. It's an evil god. It's an evil god, I think. <gasps> what did I get? Oh, dude, let's go. I got Luxario. Oh my god. Dude, the pools in this first box are crazy. I'm getting like the most rare cards in the game. Well, Adriel and Culture are the most rare, but... Man, yeah, so this is such a beautiful card. When it's rallied, draw one card, replenish one Imperium, or five Imperium, and then uh, evil greater beings, when they're destroyed, you get to spawn a two-strength demon soul token, which is really good for sacrificing and such. Um, dude, what a, what a box. It started out so slow, and now it's just like, I pulled three greater beings in one box. I expect like maybe one greater being every two boxes or something like that. Maybe even every three boxes. I just pulled three in one box. I promise you this is not rigged at all. I swear to God. <laughs> but uh, Pahalia is actually a mystical rare. I think Luxario might be also. Kushio is a legendary rare. Um, but these two, I think, might actually be one tier lower of rarity. They're still very rare. But uh, yeah, I mean, anyway, super lucky. I mean, it's just amazing. Um, Mystical Tiger, Adama, Amaja, Cosmic Energy, 
flaming sword, ring, golden coin, devout monk, and Karner! Another hollow. All right, now we're getting into the good evil stuff. So I, this is probably my favorite card art out of everything. This one was done by Akash. And uh, he's just like Argon in that he can rally soldiers from your deck. Uh, once per turn during your, your, during your turn, you can spend one Imperium to rally one one strength soldier from your deck. So you can go Argon into this guy into a one strength soldier. You can bring out Argon can basically s uh, rally three s soldiers, including himself, in one turn. Um, so it's really good for thinning the deck, spamming the board and everything. These are like key cards for the evil deck. And, uh, God, that's gorgeous. Oh my God, man. I'm so lucky. All right. I think we got four packs left. What a box, dude. Holy crap. What a box. I pulled like, I pulled the, the greatness. I haven't pulled the most, I haven't pulled Adriel Krolsu, but I'm extremely happy with what I've pulled. Okay. Warhorse. Ray of Heaven, Incantation of the Weak, Amulet of the Apostle, Skeleton Warrior, Amaja, and uh, Forgotten Coin, Helneth, and Tear of Isis. Okay, I needed one of these, at least one. Uh, very good for a Soren deck. It only costs one, and you just replenish five Imperium. It's very strong for making big plays. I really do want to pull Adriel though, man. Really want to pull Adriel. Okay, Blessed Cat. Amulet of Forsaken. Bad Bat. Ghost Gun. Lightning Blast. Dolgan. Drangrathen. Bone Mac. And. Urzin! Nice! That's what I was talking about earlier. Um, so I pretty much got the core of the evil deck. I got Urzin, Karner, and Argon. And so this guy, when he's, you can sacrifice him and another soldier to draw two cards. And when he's in the cemetery, you can vanquish him to replenish four Imperium. So these are really the key engines to the deck. And I got almost all of them. I need an Apple of Eden. Uh, it's a evil spell card, which helps with the engine. But um, man... What pools, dude? This was like the best box. <laughs> well, I don't know that for sure though, because I've only opened one box. Maybe the other ones are better, but this was a great box. Uh, Majestic Chimera, Mystical Tiger, Incantation of the Weak, Golden Coin, Flaming Sword, Ring of Atonement, Rope and another cemetery hunter. Okay, that probably didn't need, but that's okay. Even if the last card is just some other rare I already have, like this box is so good. Primal Bear, Lightning Blast, Cosmic, Sacred Tortoise, Rage of the True King. Wheel of Time, Bone Mac, Helmeth, and this is the last pack, guys. The last rare. What's it gonna be? A coffin. Okay. Well, I'll take it. That's okay. Let's take a look at all of the gorgeous cards that we pulled here. Cemetery Hunter, Urzen, Karner. These are rare and above. Tear of Isis, Cemetery Hunter, Argon. Beautiful. Body Obstruction, Contradict, Prayer Beads, really good cards. We got two of these Ryusis, which pretty bad. Uh, two Divine Interventions, which that might be good. I think it's going to be a really good card in the future. Pristine Coffins. Uh, we got two great birds of destiny, so this is really, really good for the holy deck. Like, really good. Definitely gonna main those. Ryusis, definitely need Jacobs. Um, one comes in the, the Soren structure deck, but I probably run two because he's just, he's just so clean. He's so good. And I definitely needed this Church of Dominus. Uh, another Augustus. The great bird, the Seance. We got one Seance. Probably put that in the evil deck. The evil greater being Luxariel. 
the Pahal Pahalia Angel of Virtuosity, amazing, and two angels, Cushiel Angel of Punishment. That was an incredible pull. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you want to purchase a box, the links are in the description and pinned his top comment. And be sure to enable your notifications because I'm going to open lots of other stuff on this channel.